there and welcome to Supernatural Life. My name is Patricia King. I'm hosting you today on the program. And also we have a special guest, Kevin Zadai. I love you so much, Kevin. You're one of the most supernatural people I know. And just, I could sit for hours and hours and hours and listen to you speak. But today we have a subject that we're both really passionate about and that's supernatural finance because I wanna see every believer flourish. And even though finance, like money itself, is not a heavenly currency, it's just used in the earth, but heaven supply, God's supply in his glory can breathe on this area of finance in the life of believers. Yes, it's true. And, and, you know, Jesus, he instructed me to write this book because he said, Kevin, he says, my people, they won't let me into their finances. And then he goes, and it's obvious. Yeah. Because, see, oh. we let God oh. into other things. Yeah. He, he wanted to get into our finances, too. So he showed me. He said, money is in the wrong hands. Whoa. And it needs to come back to the body of come Christ. Come on. I want you to meditate on that for a little while. Like, just imagine God saying, you know, it shows. It shows that I'm not in the midst of your finance. Wow. Oh, that puts a fear of the Lord in me. Mm. But what would it look like to have your finances in the hands of God? Just think of that for a moment all of your bank accounts with God inside of it. Wow, that's amazing. So Lord, we just pray right yes. now before we go any further, come inside, not only of our lives, but inside our finance. We invite you in. We invite you to rule and reign in Jesus' name. Amen. I just couldn't wait to pray. <laughs> <laughs> that was fine. Now, before we came on the set, you were sharing some amazing spiritual encounter um, about finance and about your time in heaven. So why don't you share with us what the Lord showed you when you were in heaven with him? Well, he showed me the, the system of this world and how it's set up so that you can never get out of debt and you're always behind. It never You never get ahead. It's rigged so that you can never get out from underneath the control of it. But then I saw that there were serial numbers on all the currencies of the world that the, the, the bills, you know, they had serial numbers on it and they were designated for a certain mission and a work that a certain person or ministry was assigned to do. Well, God had already uh, written it in heaven that th that money was supposed to come to them and that the system in the world, Satan's system, was keeping it from the body of Christ. So you need to realize that there is money in the wrong hands. It's really designated as your money for what you've been called to do. Because, you know, God said in his word that he would never call a warrior to go to war at his own expense. God right. is going to foot the bill for it. Wow. So I saw, and just so you know, um, he told me, he said, Satan even looks at if you find a dime in the parking lot after church, if you put that in your pocket, he looks at a person who takes the money out of his system as stealing from him. So he doesn't want Christians to have money at all because they, he knows that he's, they're going to use it for God's work because I it's know. set apart. So this whole thing that he told me, he said, write this book about supernatural finances. Bring God back into your finances. Give, oh, that's what he assigned me to do on this. It's yeah. amazing. And I should have shared this with you earlier, but Kevin had an encounter with the Lord. He was on his deathbed, actually, in, a, in, in the midst of a surgery, and God took him into heaven and showed him all kinds of things, not only in heaven, but things that were going to happen in the earth as well. So I should have prefaced that, but I'm, yeah. I'm just too excited. I want to hear what you have yeah. to hear. Now, what caught my attention was when you said about the serial numbers. So if in heaven, in my book, there's serial numbers of money assigned to me, how do I get that? into my earthly bank account. Well, you have to cooperate with the Holy Spirit, of course. There's a lot of different ways, but I, I'm going to tell you something that, that's just going to that's just going to show you how rigged this whole thing is. God's system is rigged in your favor, and this is what I saw. My he he, he actually pulled my friend in a vision when I was with him. He showed me my friend who was a millionaire, and he said, "This is how much he will be worth when he get, takes his last breath." I know exactly the day and the hour that he will pass and come with me. This is how much he's going to be worth. And it was a lot of money. It was, it was, it was actually $32 million is what wow. he'd be worth. He says, however, I'm sending you back from the dead. I want you to talk to him. I want you to tell him that he needs to pray in the spirit 
And if he does, this is how much he's going to be worth at the end of his life. It was 140 million. Wow. It was it was way over what it would. And he said the only difference is is that he started to cooperate with the kingdom of heaven by praying in the spirit, walking in the spirit. And so that is one of the keys is 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 cooperating with God wow. and fulfilling your mission on earth and God will finance it. That's what I was told from the wow. head of the church. Jesus told me, he said, we will finance our own work wow. through a believer. Now, you said that we are to cooperate with God, partner with him. How do we do that? Well, there's so many ways to do this. One of them, of course, is the area of giving. But a lot of people give, and Jesus showed me that a lot of people do give, but they're not good receivers. And so you have to learn that when you give, you shall receive. So one of the things that he taught me was a lot of people are giving, but they're not in the position to receive because they really don't believe that God is a rewarder of those yeah, who Yeah, so by faith they're him. giving. Yes. But then there's no faith attached to the receiving back. Yes, but I, I was shown recording angels that stand and record everything you do for the Lord. Jesus will make sure that you get repaid, but cooperating God's system. This is so cool. So what you need to do is you need to take your finances, bring them over into the kingdom. That's why when you give, you set up the, a portion apart to give to the Lord. It sets the whole apart. Yeah. And then Satan can't touch it. Well, he, he, he gets livid by that. So I encourage people that when the Lord speaks to you to do something for someone, you need to do it. When, whatever the obedience is. Mm -hmm. I used to tithe. I used to give a, 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 a tenth of the income off of what I wanted to make. Mm -hmm. So I actually would right. double and triple my... my yeah. well, my husband and I have done that quite frequently, well, too. My corporation, who <laughs> wasn't a godly corporation, they ended up giving me the raises to match what I was doing in secret. Wow. And so the power of the Holy Spirit is, is, I mean, right now, I feel the power of God. There's a lot of people that just need to know that around you are recording angels. They're, yeah. they're, they're, you, they just want you to participate in the kingdom. But Satan looks at a Christian in his realm down here, you have to walk in authority and dominion. You, mm. So that's another one is you have to take authority and tell those evil spirits to let go of your money because mm. it actually is is already designated. It's I mean, designated to yeah, you already. Yeah, because see, so it's, do you understand that the world system is hoarding? There's just, you know, I don't know how, if you know this, but there's just a, a handful of people that have all the yeah, money. Yeah, exactly. I mean, the, the large amounts. And they control, they yes, have power, and, right? And they don't, and they yeah. don't fear God. Yeah. But see, someone, someone um, the, who's doing the work of the Lord, they that money needs to go for that, mm -hmm. for, for God and his glory. So that's what I, I teach in the book is if, let your finances become supernatural by introducing them to the kingdom. Right. And then when it's within that realm of the kingdom, you use your dominion um, that God, God gave you as a believer and you start to tell the finances to come into mm -hmm. your possession by, by um, releasing your words and telling the, the, the actual literal denominations of money to come to you because God wants to finance the mm -hmm. kingdom. It's, it's beyond what we see um, because when I was in heaven, I saw that we're actually going to we're going to actually be an answer to another generation's prayers. Mm -hmm. Like we are st setting it up. See, so, so like like with um, with our ministry, it will run forever without me. Right. Well, just like like uh, you leave an inheritance for your children and their children, mm -hmm. you know, the ministry should be able to be financed forever. Mm -hmm. And God has already done that with us. He's already done that so that it will run forever. It will run forever. So and uh, that's awesome. that God is into generations. He's into inheritances mm -hmm. and he wants us to prosper. Um, wow. It's part of, it's part of what he does. It, uh, it is know. his heart. Of yeah. course, Jesus said he came that we would have life in its abundance, not in its lack. Mm -hmm. You know, he wants us to live an abundant life in every area of our life. That's in your relationships. That's in abundant wisdom, abundant peace, abundant health, and abundance of finance. He does want you to have more than enough. This gives him testimony. In heaven, there is an abundance of all things. It's an extravagant atmosphere. And God wants you to taste that heavenly environment while you're in the earth, yet without 
love of money or without worshiping or idolizing material things. That is not where God is taking us. He wants us to be, you know, um, uh, firm in our commitment to worshiping him alone, but then expecting those things to follow. We're going to take a break right now with a very important message, but when we come back, we're going to uh, give some more impartation through testimony, through the word and through ministry to you. So we'll be right back. Welcome back to our program on supernatural finances at God TV. We believe in a supernatural life and we love to see God's word come to pass in your life. So that's why uh, we host these programs for you. And Kevin, it's, it's awesome to have you on the program. And in our last session, you shared um, some of the encounters you had when you were taken into heaven by God, some of the understanding you had. And that um, you mentioned that one of the things that we need to do is intentionally put faith out for reaping in the same way we do for sowing. And I think that that is really uh, important. I told a gal once that I was um, mentoring, I said, um, because she was struggling with uh, finance, I said, you're going to learn how to live with supernatural finance. And so I said, every time you give something, Give it with intentionality for the advancement of the kingdom. Even if it's buying a coffee for someone, do it in the love of God for the advancement of the kingdom. Just believe that God will breathe on it and write it down in a little book and the date that you did it. Anything that you give financially, anything that you give as far as even your help that you give people, write it down because I'm going to show you something. When you write it down, say, I believe for 30, 60, 100, even to a thousand fold increase, just, just speak it out over your seed. Then when it comes to pass, go through your book. And when you see, you know, it being returned, blessings being returned, write it down and date it. It was amazing. She intentionally sowed and she also intentionally reaped because she was putting command on the seed to bring back a return. Mm -hmm. And she could not believe it. After a few months, she said, this is amazing. I am so blessed by God. Even the cups of coffee, if she would sow a cup of coffee for someone, she would get so many back. And she said, this really works. I said, well, it's kingdom life. It's supernatural life. And many people just don't know how to connect with it. Well, now she's in full-time ministry. She is doing so well. Uh, she is blessed financially, but it just took that little nugget. So I want to thank you for sharing that with us. But can you share some personal testimony about some of your your financial miracles. I, I have so many, I have so many of them. And you have to remember something when I did come back from the operation and uh, that I came back to life, I was told that I cannot fail if I come back. And that's what started to happen. I started to see that, that when God sends you somewhere, um, he finances you in, in your endeavor. So he told me to actually go, go to work for an airline and I was actually in the ministry. And so I, I worked for 30 years for a major airline. Well, at in the overnights, I would go out to get something to eat and I would buy a bunch of extra food and have it to hand out to the homeless. So at night, when I was on my way back to the hotel after flying all day, I would uh, hand out hamburgers and tell, the, uh, tell Aww, them about the Lord. So well, precious. one time in Burbank, California, I accidentally fed an angel and the angel uh, revealed himself to me, and every people were around when this happened. They, the the whole cart that she had or he had with with and and the, and the angel disappeared in the midair, and people saw it happen. They just wow. the whole thing. But before, uh, just a minute, just a minute. How do you mean you fed the angel? Like well, I was just feeding, you know, like I normally you were did. feeding the homeless. But but one of the homeless, it was disguised as a homeless person. The angel was disguised as a homeless person. Yes. So you gave him a hamburger, and as soon as, soon as I did that. <laughs> um, took the blanket and, the, and everything off, and it was an angel. And, oh. it said, and they called me by name and said, the Lord has sent me. You've done everything right, Kevin. And now the Lord has sent me to warn you that, uh, and told me about it, that in 2001, that the uh, stock market would crash and to get everything out, to, God was going to repay me for what I was doing on the streets. So the 2001 stock market, I, I took everything out. It crashed without me. I put it back in and I doubled my money. <laughs> And then it happened wow. again in 2008. In 2008 of July, 
he, this, this angel in Seattle came, the same angel, and, and told me it's going to happen again. So I took it out. And then October, September, it yeah. Crashed. Yeah, it crashed. Then in February of 2009, I put it back in. Now I have four times as much. Oh, in. my goodness. And when I retired from, uh, from the airline, the, the advisor that was handling my money called me and said, how did you get all this money? You have six times what you should. There's nobody that even is close, wow. you know, because of your profile, your age. What, 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 Patricia, what happened was I was doing the work of the Lord and the Lord was just repaying me because right. if I give to people that can't pay back, if, yeah. I, if I give to the poor, he, has, he repays. Yeah. He says, I would pay, and, I, and so that's what happened there. There's, there's many others. Um, mm -hmm. We had a person who was told by the Lord to pay off our house. So we wow. had, we, we went, we've gone like 12 years now without a, a house payment or any bills at all. We, we've had individuals give us, uh, so there are supernatural things, but we also were very faithful to give and help people and do everything. We, we Sometimes the, um, the IRS would call us and say, you gave away half your income. Nobody does that. We need, we need receipts. So I would give it to them and they were like, well, yeah, it, how, how did you do <laughs> But see, what happened was, right. is we were sowing into uh, our future and then God was rewarding us for that. Mm -hmm. And so now we don't have to worry about anything about finances anymore because it's yeah. not even on our minds to right. tell the truth, Patricia. I know when you get to a certain point, I remember when my husband and I began to tithe and uh, we would intentionally tithe 10% um, and then give, give offerings and then yeah. say, okay, let's go to 20 now. Yeah. Okay, now let's go to 30. And it was always so exciting taking that next step of faith. There was something that happened when we entered into the 50%. It's like all of a sudden you didn't even think about finance anymore, but it just started coming to you. It, right. You know, it, it, it just started yeah. flowing, right? Yeah. And so it, it, it's really exciting. But when you sow from the natural into the heavenly, the heavenly will send back to you in the natural way beyond what you sowed. And it comes, the blessing of the Lord makes rich and adds no, no sorrow, sorrow to it. Yeah. It's not like in the world, you know, people win lotteries and they say that after, you know, after they win a lottery, they sometimes, you know, go back to where they were in just a few years. Uh, people have died soon after they got the lottery. I mean, there's sorrow. Um, I, I heard of one situation where um, a man's marriage broke up. Um, there's sorrow that goes with, with mm. the stuff in the world, but not when God's hand is on it. No, yeah. there's no sorrow. And, and uh, you know, maybe people need to get have permission to receive from God mm -hmm. too. I mean, there's a lot of people that give uh, and the Lord has told me that, but I'm actually feeling called to teach people how to receive from God. In other yeah. words, you have to see that God, everything is kept on a docket. There is a, wow. that recorded, God doesn't forget anything, wow. but there is a, there's a supernatural finances where God takes over your finances because you give it him permission. Mm. You have to give him permission to come in. I believe that because I was feeding the poor and I was doing things that, that I was called to do and that I could do, I could buy a dollar hamburger mm -hmm. and hand them out. Look what happened. That, right. Patricia, I just want you so to know amazing. that what, what I retired with was enough to, to make, that was, was enough to run us and uh, our descendants forever. Wow. There was so much in there. Wow. That they couldn't figure it out. Uh, the people in the financial realm cannot figure it out. That gives mm -hmm. glory to God because we're not that good to do that. Right. And we're believing that for yeah. you too because God's not a respecter of persons. He loves us all the same. It's just that faith has to be stirred so that we can connect to mm -hmm. God's promises with faith. That's why we share his testimony. That's why we share his word so that faith will be built and so that we can all access the goodness of God. We have a question from a viewer that we'll answer um, quickly. And I love this question because I think a lot of us feel the same way. I don't want to fall into the trap of loving money. How do I keep my heart pure when believing for supernatural provision. Jesus explained this really quickly, Matthew, the Matthew 6, 33. When we seek the God's kingdom and his righteousness, all these things are gonna be added to us. The Jesus said, look at my face right now. When I saw him, he said, now focus on my face and seek me. He said, you will never lack if you continually gaze at me. Mm -hmm. So that's what I do all the oh, time. And I can it. encourage people just to gaze at Jesus. Love it. Yeah. Don't you just love that? Yeah. Well, God TV, we believe in equipping 
believers. We want you equipped. We don't want you to just hear a word that will impart faith, although that is amazing, but we want to even go further to help you get established in the things of God. So we're going to take a break right now to tell you about our equipping e-course portal, and we'll be right back. Well, welcome back. This is the part of the program that I love because we wait on God for words that are on his heart for you. And sometimes the words are really specific, but all the words you can say, wow, Lord, I feel a quickening on that. I'd like that word and it'll minister to you too. But the first word that I'm getting uh, today is for someone who you have been tithing, you've been giving your offerings to the Lord, you've been doing all those things with an expectation that, that, you know, the heavens are going to open, blessings will pour out that you can't contain, all of the good things that the word promises you. So you said, Lord, I'm waiting for that, but you haven't seen it come yet. Well, I want to decree and declare over you that it is coming. It actually is coming. But the key for you is to get tenacious in calling forth your harvest. So in the same way that you sowed in faith, now reap with faith, call it forth from the north, the south, the east, and the west. I also see um, there's a single mom, you're raising two children, and you're watching this program, and you're thinking, could it possibly happen to me? And the Lord says, oh yes. In fact, I just see right now an angel of provision going to you right now, is being assigned to you right now. And when angels are assigned, it's for your whole life. So welcome the angel, thank God for it, look to God, and watch the changes that are going to take place in your life. Oh man, I I just I just see somebody named Antonio, and the Lord is saying, "Listen, I have been with you since the beginning, and I am forming my image in you. So your job that you have right now, it is not the job that I am training you for. I am getting you ready. You just hold on because God is going to move. That's what the Lord's saying, Antonio. You're just in preparation. This is just preparation. I, in fact, I see many people right now. They're wondering why am I not prospering? Because the Lord says this is not this where you're at is not your land. I'm taking you to your land, but I'm getting you ready for it. So the Lord says you just stay in there with me and pass all your tests, pass your money tests. When God tells you to give, just keep giving. When God tells you to be a good receiver you receive. The Lord is saying, I'm taking you into your land where you're going to prosper, but you're in preparation right now. Uh, Patricia, I see that a lot of people are going through things and they're interpreting as though they've done something wrong, but they have not done anything right. wrong. The Lord is releasing them to just relinquish into the, the yoke of God is upon their life and they're being trained to trust. So it, good. Uh, yeah. The, the and there's a battle. The enemy mm. wars against us. So we have to get our battle, our battle garments on and fight the good fight of faith, right? Yeah. I'm getting a word for someone right now that you have gone through like a bankruptcy where basically you lost everything and you have been in sorrow over the loss, of course, and we, we understand that and I have tremendous compassion for you. But I, I feel the Lord saying specifically to you, do not, uh, do not be sad over the past. Look to today. This is a brand new day for you and he's going to teach you how to build on a brand new foundation. He is going to not only help you build a new foundation, but you're going to see the result of his blessing on your life. There's a few things that you're going to do differently in this next season than what you did before. And you're going to build it by trusting him and knowing him and, and acting on his promises. And so don't have any sorrow right now because that will bring you down. Look toward what God is going to do and it's going to be good. And I see, I see a lot of you, there's some people that, that's, has, the word is inheritances. There's, I see a lot of people that had money coming to them and it fell through. I see, I see a lot of different uh, financial, uh, d d something happened where you didn't get your raise. You didn't get what was uh, set apart for you. The Lord is saying, I will bring it another way. Do not look to the source as being a person or a corporation or a bank. Look at your source being me and rely on the spirit of God. He's leading and guiding you. He's going to take you into the place where this money is going to come back to you. I'm telling you, the Lord's saying it's earmarked. It doesn't matter what source it comes through. The Lord says, I will command the angels concerning you and they will bring in that, those finances. Amen. In the name of Yay. Jesus. Yeah. 
you know, you can have all the money in the world, but without Jesus, it, it's, it's worth nothing. Mm. It's our walk with him. It's our having him in our life that gives us eternal life, that gives us right standing with God. And you might be watching the program today and you might have all, all the worldly goods that you could ever need, but you don't have him yet. Mm. And he's reaching out to you right now. He's knocking on the door of your heart. And he's saying, if you will invite me to come into your life, I will be your Lord and Savior. And I will save your soul for all eternity. I will forgive all your sins and I'll give you a brand new start. Just call on his name. His name is Jesus. He loves you with an everlasting love yes. and he wants you with him for all eternity. Call on him now. We want to thank you so much for being uh, with us on today's program. We're going to continue to pray for you that you have supernatural provision manifest within your life. And we also want to um, invite you to go online, go to God.tv forward slash Patricia. And there's lots of things on there that we'd like to introduce you to. And we'd love to hear from you as well. So give us your testimonies, your prayer requests, and even your questions for further programs. Thanks so much for joining us. Remember that God came to give you a supernatural life. So go out this week and live it. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Let us know how it impacted you. Send your feedback, testimony, or prayer request today or ask Patricia a question for a future program. And don't forget, you can continue growing in the supernatural with our premium e-courses. Connect with us at god.tv forward slash Patricia and join us next time for our next episode of Supernatural Life.